Okay, so that was the MQ Explorer. Now we know that the PCF is sort of a, a programmable command format. We're not really going to spend much time on it. So instead, let's move on to the control command number four. And really, that should have said control commands because if you remember from this chart, we'll see a list of the different control commands where it says control command in the singular to tell you what the name of it is. So what would you typically do with the control command? Well, you can start and stop queues. So here's a really common example. Let's take a look at it. So if I want to locate that command, where is that? Then I can type in strmqm with locate, and then sure enough, here it is, opt mqm bin. And the question is, well, okay, what are the other commands? And let's take a look at that. So let's cd into that folder, and we'll do an ls. And then take a look at all these commands. In case you're wondering why it is that they are highlighted like this, if you do an ls-l, you'll see that we have the ones that are highlighted have a sticky bit. And for a review of what the sticky bit means, here is a quick review. You can have a sticky bit set for files or for directories. But ultimately, the s and the execute bit for the user owner of the file is the suet bit, or it's also called the special bit. It means that the file can be executed by other users with the authority of the owner of that file. So basically other people, other users on the system can run that command. And it will run in the context of MQM in our case. So if I clean off the screen and I type strmqm to start the queue manager and I give it cfqm, you should see that in fact the queue manager is running so it's just telling us some information about the queue manager so there are lots of other commands that you can give obviously we just saw the list but if you wanted to see some common things useful things you would do one f you would use one called for example display or dspmq uh, and give it o and installation which will display the state of all the queue managers in the system and so there you go that's a very useful one and notice here that we are not using run mqsc, right? We, we could use that, but in fact, that is a separate control command, right? We're not in here. We're not using um, these mqsc commands. We're using control commands. And there are, like I said, there are other commands that you can use. Another one, for example, is uh, display the mq version. So there you get a quick uh, rundown of those sort of um, details about the machine you're running. You can also do things like do a trace route. Um, there are lots of other commands in this category.